We're trying a bit of a different camera angle today, hence why you see the big old kahuna board and our wolf looking hoodie and our Christmas hat all in the background, along with my beach hat too. I've got way too much junk in my room now that I think about it. Ladies and gentlemen, this video goes out to all y'all still playing Master Boo Boo Stain. We, uh, we need to talk about this, so let's dive on into it, shall we? Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most, Avery LR32, here and destroy the ever-living Boo Stain. I'm sorry, let me try that again. Boo Boo Stain. Off of that subscribe button. There we go. So we can climb even further beyond the 1100 ladder. I hope you all having a fantastic day. We got to talk about something that just grinds my gears the more that I think about it. So let me set the stage here a little bit, right? Uh, my dad and I were discussing Yu-Gi-Oh! and theory crafting and stuff like that. He's trying to figure out whether he should play his burn deck or a stun deck with time tiering Morganite, uh, or if he should play rank eight Axis being like the rank eight spam going second deck, all that good old stuff. Uh, and the reason why we're theory crafting this is because as I've said before, my dad does not want to play meta. He thinks Runic is too fucking combo, which just still blows my mind. Then, of course, he wants to be a degenerate and play Burn and all that other, you know, ignorant shit. <laughs> or he just wants to be an ass with stun and go time tearing Morganite, summon a Fossil Dine, and summon a Spectre Border, tell you to go and hope he wins. And then he's also been playing the rank 8 Axis, going second, using things like Lightning Storm, Feather Duster, things like that. The issue with that rank 8 Axis deck is because he thinks it's so damn good to play things like fucking Gradles and owner seal and all of that degenerate shit that's just inconsistent and garbage and why is he playing these cards you may ask master shits that's right ladies and gentlemen now why is it he's playing these cards well let me tell you it's something that i think about probably 95 percent of players that still play master shits which if you still do i don't know why um it's the side deck it's the best of fucking one mentality that i have said time and time again it is garbage yeah, we're going to be ranting about Master Shits again because it just grinds my gears. I don't understand, and this has become more of a Yu-Gi-Oh! IRL issue I've noticed than even in something like Master Shits. Because even when I went to my OTS championship, we got to like round two or three, and one of the players was like, okay, all of the Master Duel players are out of the way. Now the tournament can really begin. And it's so true because all of these players who play Master Shits and think that their deck is good when it's actually garbage show up to a locals and then they get pounded and fisted without no Vaseline, I might add. And then they wonder why their deck is bad and why they keep on losing. It's because the best of one mindset completely changes how the game is played, just like how we've seen a ban list be completely different in Master Shits compared to the TCG or OCG ban list. And it completely warps the mindset of playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Because there's no side deck involved unless you go into the unranked mode where you're playing for literally nothing. You're just playing for shits and giggles in a ban list that's dog water and that still has Smoke Grenade of the Thief, I might add. And that's only going to get more toxic as time goes on. So my dad is playing this going second rank 8 access deck and using things like Gradles and Owner Seal because those cards are actually, I guess, kind of decent in Master Shits. But the reason why those cards work in a game like Master Shits is because it's best of fucking one. And against a deck like Rank 8 Axis, all you have to do is side deck to go first or even side deck to go second. Make the deck go first. And then they just shit themselves because they really can't do anything other than summon an inspector border and maybe set some back row and pass. And then you just break their board and OTK them. And then when they make you go first in game three, you just side deck to go first because you know that that's what they're going to do. And then you end up beating their ass anyway because it's like, it doesn't matter if you want to go second because I've got the D barriers, I've got the floodgates, I've got the everything, and you just can't win because of it. And it's so hilarious to me. Now, I'm not just sitting here to just rag on master shit players or even players that just want to play casually. I understand that there are people out there that will say, well, Avery, I don't necessarily want to be a competitive player. I don't want to play the best meta deck. I just want to play like a casual owner seal, remove brainwashing, or just casual deck, insert name here of whatever. And I get that and I respect that. As a competitive player though, what you need to understand is even if you want to play on a casual level, why not at least take the time to understand all aspects of the game so that you can be better at the game overall, even just on a casual level? You know, people that have never side decked before and only played best of fucking one have 
no way to even learn how to get better at the game because you never side deck. What cards are you going to take out in games two or three of a match? Oh, well, I don't have to think about that because I'm only playing best of fucking one. So my going second deck can cheese you every single time we play because all you have to do is go first and I pretty much just win. And it's so idiotic. And it makes me feel bad for players who think that their deck is actually good when it's dog shit because they're playing cards that aren't good like Owner's Seal or the Gradles with Kaijus when those cards in the actual TCG meta and OCG meta by extension are so vastly different compared to Master Shits and the card pool that they have and with what cards are legal and the fact that it's also a match. You know, there's a reason why people don't play great old kaijus anymore since the kaijus and great old first came out because it's dog shit. And on top of that, when it comes to cards like owner seal that can only take control of cards that you give your opponent, why not play something like triple tactics talent or thrust to get you to the talents or the change of heart or the mind control and just take any monster. For those of you who don't know what owner seal does, uh, basically it's a normal spell that you activate and it changes all of the monsters that are on the field to their original owners. So like if you give your opponent a Lava Golem, you can go Owner Seal to take that Lava Golem. But again, why would you do that when you can play something like fucking Change of Heart or Triple Tactics Talent that's just strictly better and can also take control of a monster than playing Owner Seal that requires such a specific particular setup? And so when it comes to deck building, to wrap this back into that IRL game, when it comes to deck building, you can't build your deck in Master Shits and expect it to function in the same way as the IRL game. Ignoring the fact that Max C is even a card. Max C being a card in Master Shits completely warps how the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! is played at a fundamental level. And I think a lot of people, especially the casual crowd, don't fucking understand that. They just think, oh, it beats meta decks because now they can't pop off and go combo, combo, combo because they miss the days when Yu-Gi-Oh! was just summon a monster, set a couple back row, and pass. I miss those days too, but I also see where Yu-Gi-Oh! is fun in this new era. And I think if people actually gave it the time to learn it and see how Yu-Gi-Oh! has turned into a game that is vastly different and still kind of the same depending on what kind of deck you're playing, then you will actually enjoy it. And so it, it just boggles my mind how, especially the players too, who are like, they think that they're like God's green earth gift on this planet because they like got the fucking platinum and master shits, which isn't fucking hard, I might add. Um, and then they want to like roll up to like the YCS in Philadelphia, think that they're going to do well. And then their ass just gets smacked every single round. And it's like, I'm at table 500. Well, why? Well, I played Master Shits. I got platinum. Ah, that's why Sugar Boo Bear. The side deck is so crucial and important to the game of Yu-Gi-Oh that if you don't understand how it works or even like what to side in or out when you go to these IRL events, you're going to get punished for it and then you're just going to probably stop playing the game altogether because you're used to playing best of one on Master Shits. This is why I keep on saying that Konami should have added in a match mode to Master Shits earlier in its lifespan. It's basically dead now, I'm sure, at least I'm hoping. Uh, because then people could at least have the option. If you want to play singles, go play singles, boo-boo. You do you. Meanwhile, I'm going to touch grass and actually play test on EDO Pro, where the format is actually real, and you're not having to deal with Tier 0, Tier Element, and Sprite, and all this other degenerate garbage in Master Shits. So, guys, let me know what you think about this. I feel like the side deck is just something that a lot of people overlook, uh, more on the casual side than the competitive side. But, Man, you can't be playing these trash cards when you go to an IRL event because you're going to get steamrolled. Don't play cards like Gradles. Don't play cards like Owner Seal. If you're just going to be casual, sure. But if you actually want to be competitive and you actually want to get better, you need to be playing better cards. You need to play cards that can do the same fucking thing for less setup. Why in the hell would you play Owner Seal when you could play fucking Triple Tactics Talent or Change of Heart or even Mind Control? Like, it just boggles my mind. Or hell, just play fucking Monster Reborn. Like, just Reborn any monster. Like, Jesus Christ. I can't with this this game. I mean, Master Shits is just so dog water. And I know I've mentioned that ad nauseum. But I, I, I cannot stand these players who think that they are just the gift from the Yu-Gi-Oh! Egyptian gods thinking that they're good when they're actually dog water. Or they think that their deck is good when it's garbage because it's built to be in Master Shits. So, I'm not trying to just rag on players... It's, it's all about getting better. And I want to be honest with you. As I've always said from day one, I'm going to be honest with you. 
about how you can get better at the game. I'm sorry, but your Beaver Warrior deck that you built in Master Shits that got you to gold is not going to be able to do shit at a regional. I'm sorry, Sugar Boo Bear. That's not how this game works. And I'm not going to bullshit you, and I'm not going to put it in a bottle and breastfeed it to you. <laughs> Guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.